Hi, right, so I'm here, Angeline and I are at uh, the Kennedy School, the Minimans Kennedy School here in Portland, Oregon. It's a hotel uh, that was formerly a public school here, and all of the <laughs> all of the classrooms have been changed into uh, rooms with each of a, a theme, with a story, and this one is a Mr. Toad room. Um, and the, He's green, green, green. Mr. Toad is? He's green, green, green. And uh, Robbie Paga, if you see this, we weren't sure if you were Mr. Toad or Mr. Frog in the uh, uh, Orlando Shakespeare production. But anyway, here's how the story goes, and we'll give you a little tour of the room as we go. So, ho, ho, I am the Toad. The handsome, the popular, the successful Toad. He got so puffed up with conceit that he made up a song in praise of himself and sang it at the top of his voice. Though there was no one to hear it but him. It was perhaps the most conceited song that any animal ever composed. The world has held great heroes, as history books have showed, but never a name to go down to fame. Follow Angeline into the bathroom. Compared with that of Toad, the clever men at Oxford know all that there is to be known, but they know none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. The animals sat in the ark and cried. I have a cobweb on me. Um, That's what they cried? I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> their tears in torrents flowed. Who was it said, there's land ahead, encouraging? Mr. Toad. And that's our Mr. Toad room. What's that, Angeline? I'm drawing a picture of Mr. Toad on the grass. Oh. Uh, so each of these are classrooms has a chalkboard that you can draw. So we can make our own artwork on the wall. 